Yo, what is up my people? Welcome back to the channel. We've got an exciting video today where we've been sent something to review, set up and show you. I'm gonna go and get it. While I do that, run a ting. So this little beast is the Falcon 2 Pro 40 watt laser cutter and engraver from Creality. Let's get it open and check it out. First things first, be careful with knives, yeah? So first opening of the box, let's see what we're greeted with. Some foam, love foam. So we'll take that off and we're first met with this. What is this? So I think from first look that this is the tray that's gonna slide underneath to catch all the offcuts and things like that. Once we've cut stuff out with the laser, it's gonna then fall through onto this tray and we can pull it out and empty it easily. That's a big update because the last one that I had was the Falcon 2 and that was 22 watts or 20 watts. I can't remember anyway. There's enough of a video about that. I'll put the link up here somewhere. But this is a big upgrade from that. I'll show you more on that in a minute anyway, once it's set up. So taking that try out, the next thing we are met with is another update for this laser engraver. And that is these. And basically, once we've put it together, we'll see a bit more. But I think, well, I don't think, I know. This is a cover that goes over the entire machine and you can lift it up on little rollers to get access inside. And obviously it's red to protect our eyes from the laser. I'll tell you what, it's very well packaged. Look how neatly that's all laid out. What we got then? We've got some stickers again. We've got the same um, distance thing that we had with the Falcon 2. So basically you put that underneath the laser, set the laser height, and that tells you the different thicknesses of material. So you can set the laser to cut, engrave, or whatever you need to do. Also in the bag, we've got a little spring clip, we've got an Allen key, and we've got our two USB leads. Next thing over here, we've got our air assist. This again is the same with the Falcon 2. Fantastic, it's on little springy legs so that there's no vibration into the table. Hides the vibration well and obviously puts air assist onto the cutting. We've then got in here the power supply. Pretty straightforward, it's a power supply. We've then got a lovely pair of Terminator safety goggles. We've got our air tubing, so this will go from that little compressor straight into the module. We've then got this absolute beast. I'll take it out of the wrapper because that reflection's doing my head in. So this is our laser module. This is a 40 watt laser module. It comes in 22, 40 and 60 watts. And with this, if you can see from there, we've got three safety features built into it. So we've got air. If the air's not coming through, it won't work. It'll flash red, that's that. If there's a fire, it'll detect the fire, shut down the laser. And then we've got lens. So if the lens gets covered in a bit of dirt, a bit of crap, it'll tell you when it needs cleaning, you clean it, then it'll work. We've also got another laser module, so this is a 1.6 watt, and that's for more precise engraving and detail. So this is it out of the box, little 1.6 watt laser, obviously slides onto something, we'll figure that out in a minute, we'll have a look through the instructions and see what's what. It also comes with a little cable tie. Like I say, till we get into the instructions, we won't know what any of this is, but it's nice to look at. Now we've got a little box of tricks, we've got a little set of tweezers, we've got the key, which is another safety feature with this. You've got to have the key in and in the on position for it to work. We've got some straps which are going to be going around the cables or the air assist. We've got a little wipe to clean the lens and the cutter and things. We've got USB-C to A adapter. We've then got a USB card reader. So the micro USB, I will show you when I get it out, but basically you can cut without it having plugged into a PC or a laptop or anything. You load the files onto the micro SD card, plug it in, press go and it will cut. We've then got some flexi ducting. So this flexi ducting, again, another fantastic feature of the Falcon 2 Pro is that it comes with a little tiny extractor. So once our lid's on, the extractor sits inside, that'll get rid of all your fumes, your smoke, everything like that. And that is a perfect addition in my eyes. So the last thing's in the bottom of the box now. We've got our manual, which I am gonna have a thorough read through, as you all should. We've got our extractor fan there. We've got these little fins of metal, which are gonna go across and across and across. So basically the last one I had, had a big honeycomb cutting area. This has replaced that now. So this will sit here, and obviously you engrave onto that. The bits fall through into the tray that I showed you. We've then got the cutter itself. Well, the base, should we say. So this is where the malaise is gonna move. 
This is going to move across, forwards, backwards, anywhere it asks to go. Now that we've got it out of the box, you can obviously see it a lot better. So again, talking about safety features, we've got our key with our on off position. We've also got emergency start stop. So there's two versions of safety now. Then we've also got our three on the laser. We've got our surround and we've got our extractor. So as you can see already, a lot of thought has gone into the safety of this cutter. So first thing we're gonna do, now it's all out of the box, we're gonna have a look at the instructions and figure out how we build the enclosure. We're gonna have a read through this, copy exactly what it says and hopefully build the enclosure. I've just found out something else, which is another class feature that it's got. There's a camera. And I would assume that when we're cutting, this will help us lay out exactly where we want it to cut which is fantastic. Now that we've got most of the enclosure built, now when I say this was easy, this was easy. You're gonna to have to trust me. So here's our little tray that we can pull out to clear the debris out of the machine. Next thing that the instructions are telling us to do is install the laser module. Now to do this, all we're gonna do is loosen off our screws here and this slides into the little holder there. So it'll just push down onto there. And now these screws on the side, which I'm gonna tighten up, I'll hold it that way so you can see it. These screws here are also how you adjust the height of the laser. So that little thing I was showing you earlier, which sets your depth, this is how you'll adjust it. Now that's installed, the next thing we're gonna do, we've popped this little cover off here. This is where our air assist tubing goes. So we can unclip that from here and straight into the laser module. So now that that's in, with these little cable clips here, we just lift these up and push the cable in. We're now gonna reroute the cable that it comes with, which is gonna plug into here. Now that we've got that plugged in, I've run it through here and I've just wrapped some of these Velcro cable straps around just to support it, make it look a bit nicer. The next thing we're gonna do is put our honeycomb base in. So those little steel straps that I showed you earlier are just gonna slot into these grooves either end to create our base to cut on. We are getting somewhere now, we're cooking on gas. That is our cutting bed in. So as you can see here, uh, slots there and slots there, it lines up and they just drop into place. So now that we've fitted these, we can see a bit better. Once it's cut, the bits are gonna drop down onto this, which is our removable tray to get our bits out once they've been wasted. So we've sat our enclosure on top. We've now got to put the side pieces on. So the one on the left, we're gonna be putting the extractor. The one on the right, we're just gonna be putting the plain one and then we're gonna secure it with the screws that it came with. Next thing I've done, and I think one of the final pieces of putting it together is I've routed the fan cable through this little cutout here and it's just been plugged in down here as well as the front LED light bar. Didn't know that was here, that's fantastic. Plug that in just underneath there and then obviously the fan has gone into there. And as you can see now, our controls are on here. So light, on and auto, we've got our little switch there. And then on the left hand side, we've got auto and on for the fan. And then we've got our air assist dial here, as well as power and our air intake there. That's everything set up now. That was fairly straightforward. So this side, we've got our power in, we've got our power button, obviously another form of safety there. We've got our USB-C that's gonna plug straight into our laptop. The card reader, like I said earlier, you can put the cards in there and print directly from that. We've got our air assist with our little compressor there, tubed up and into the machine, power from the machine into the air assist, and then a little dial wheel to control airflow. And as you just saw, we've inserted our flexi duct onto there and just use the little spring clip there to secure it. Right, I've turned our main light off now that we were using to record and I'm just gonna show you the light function on it. So I'm gonna flick this switch which then turns on that, illuminates the area. That is awesome. So even with the lid shut, I have still got some protective film over this. But with that lid shut now, that's gonna protect our eyes and we can still see what's going on. So if we turn the light off, you can see that does make a lot of difference. Then this side, like I just said, here is our extractor. We can turn that on from here or have it on auto. If we flick it on, you can then hear the power that that's got. Right, I've plugged the MacBook straight in to the cutter now. And as you can see, I'm just calibrating the camera. So if you look there, that's actually the camera from above. So I've put it down for a standard camera, not a fisheye. And then it's telling me, place the circles pattern in the camera view, roughly as shown. Click capture, try and get the lowest score possible. Now, although it is safe to use inside, I'm in my wife's studio. She does newborn photography, things like that. We don't want any smells at all in there. So I've come outside. 
and the first thing I've asked it to do is a material test. So on this sample piece of wood that came with the unit, it's just doing a cutout now, I'll show you it in a second. Basically it cuts a load of squares with power and speed and just shows you what sort of things you need to be using for that material. So every time you use a different material, you're better off doing this and it'll show you how to cut, how to engrave, how deep you want it, that sort of stuff. I'll show you when it's done anyway. But yeah, so far, these extra safety bits that have been added are fantastic. Obviously, the extraction is a big one. The light on the front, not so much now because I'm outside, but that is awesome. At the moment, though, I can't seem to get that camera working. Can't use the cable that it's come with. I've tried my own cable and it's just not picking it up. I think it might be an issue with my Mac, though, because if I plug it into this one, I can find it. Plug it into that one, I can't. So I'm either going to have to get a splitter or try the Mac inside, something like that. So the camera is going to show the object that you're engraving. You can then draw or put whatever you want wherever on that picture. Right now this has done our test. We can pop the little lid up and you can see what's going on. So as you can see now, the scale on the left is the speed. The scale across the bottom is the power. So at 100% at the slowest power, you're going to be going straight through that wood. And at 10% on the fastest speed, it's barely going to be touching it. Right now, since the second we've opened this, all my son's been going on about is making little ramps for his tech deck fingerboard thing. So I'm going to try that. So I've got some plans for a little half pipe. So that with the root grooves there, that's going to be allowing me to bend the wood. This is going to be the sides. That's going to be the bottom. That's going to be the back and the front. And while it's cutting that, check this out. So this is what would be coming out of the room. Obviously, I'm outside, but it'd be pushing out. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but there's quite a bit of smoke and fumes and things coming out and absolutely nothing coming out of there. Another quick safety feature I've noticed when I first started using this, if this cover is slightly up, it will not cut. So it won't do anything until that's pushed down fully and you've pressed that start button on there. If it's down fully, you can start it from the laptop, but without that down, it won't work. Right, that's just finished, so let's see how she performed. So as you can see, it's exactly the same as what we've put on the computer. So here was what it was meant to be. These ones slot into there. These slot into there like that. Then you've got your two edges that are going to go there and there. Then this one like that, you get the picture. And then this one was supposed to go like a half pipe in the middle, but I hadn't set that deep enough to engrave that so that I could bend it. But we can run this through again, but we're going to make it out of a thicker piece of wood. I just thought I'd do this just to show you what it can do. And as you can see, it has cut it out absolutely bang perfect so that it can slot in, get glued in, mint. Oh, how cool's that look? Glued it all together with a bit of mighty mate. Go on. I had to do a few passes on this to be fair because just to get the thickness right, but I found out I can just cut it 100% because they're not joining. It just bends it enough so that you can do it. So the 40 watt version of this will cut 40 mil wood in one pass, which is class. That's like that. So what I've done now is cut a piece of this timber down full length so that it can go inside and cut it a lot bigger so that it's more usable. And with this engraver cutter, you can engrave steel, you can engrave plastic, you can engrave acrylic, you can engrave glass. The opportunities are endless. Right, as you can see, we've sorted the camera out now and that is the bed that we're looking at. So all I've done, I've loaded some Milwaukee batteries out. I wouldn't recommend this because obviously they're batteries, but we're going to do it. And I'm going to be writing JRC on both of these batteries. So should our batteries or anything ever get nicked, there'll be a way of telling what's ours. Let's click start and see what it does. So yeah, I was a little bit off when I was setting the camera up, but we're on there. It's engraved for now as it is. Nice. So the one thing I did forget to do was frame it. So I could have pressed frame it to show me exactly where it was cutting. Silly me. So just quickly show you now, the overlay has been put over here and that's what the camera's seeing. So whatever we put on there, that's exactly where it's going to be cutting. So if I was to put JRC there, obviously we had something on there. That's where it had cut, exactly there. So here we've just got a sheet of steel, a few mil thick. See what it can do on this? Right, all I've done is put my logo on there and let's see what it does. So we've pressed start now, it's just moving over to where it needs to cut and it started cutting. So that's where I put it on the screen and that is where it's cut and it's near enough. Well it is, it's exact. 
So I set the camera up right. Right, I've downloaded a file that creates a bird box. So if you can see here, here's the little hole that the bird's gonna go in. I've only put my logo on it. That's the back plate. It's gonna be fixed to the wall. So I've set this to 100% at 600 so that was the slowest speed with the maximum laser and as you saw on that sample bit that we cut that went straight through perfectly so what i'm going to do is press frame and as you can see the laser is just showing me exactly where it's going to cut so the cutting area obviously the extremities of that perfect then what we can do is shut the lid the light is set to auto and the fan is set to auto also and that is ready to start so see here that's the time remaining so nine minutes and one second and that will be cut right that's completely cut out now which means i can show you the tray right all we've got to do to clean it out pull the tray out there's our bits that have dropped through so that we can easily clean it and there we are, look at that. What more does anyone want apart from a JRC electrical bird box? <laughs> That's class. So just before we go, this is a leather diary that I've engraved, put my logo on there, mint, and then I've just put my logo on my charger. So that's engraved into steel. It's engraved into plastic off the batteries. Like I say, it's good for that because you can do it on your tools. If they ever get nicked or recovered or anything, your name's on them, which is what you want. And it will stop people nicking them. Hopefully, if you're on site, your name's engraved into it. How are they going to get that out? We've also cut wood. We've engraved into wood. Like I said, just you can do literally anything. If it'll go under there, I think it'll engrave it. So, yeah, like I say, that's just a few examples of what it can do. I'm going to get all my tools labelled up now so that they are protected at least that little bit. But I have seen people start businesses from it. Obviously, they make Christmas decorations. They make all stuff like that. You can make little boxes, mazes, anything really. If you can design it on the program, the laser will cut it. So there we are. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I do love messing with a gadget. I'm going to leave a link in the description to Creality's website. Once again, thank you very much for sending that product out. We're really impressed with it. Check them out. If you haven't done already, please make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. Big up yourselves. See you later. Ta-ra. Yeah.